problem asks to find the x-intercept, y-intercept, and three other points on the graph of 2x minus 5y equals 10. We will then plot those points and sketch the general graph of the, the line 2x minus 5y equals 10. We're going to start by finding the x-intercept of this line. An x-intercept occurs where the y-value equals 0. So I know that y is equal to 0 and we need to solve for x. So I go to the equation and I replace y with the value 0. And then I solve this equation for x. I have 2x minus 0 equals 10, which means 2x is equal to 10. Dividing both sides by 2, I see that x is 5. So the x-intercept is the point x is 5, y is 0. To find the y-intercept of this line, we know that the x value is 0. Y-intercepts always occur where the x value is 0. So I go to my equation and I replace the x value with 0 and I will solve this equation for y. We have 0 minus 5y equals 10 or simply negative 5y equals 10. Divide both sides by negative 5 to get y equals negative 2. So the y-intercept is the x value of 0, y value of negative 2. It's the point 0 comma negative 2. Next we'll find three more points on this line. These can be any points of your choosing. I'm going to pick a few x values. I'm going to pick x equals 1, for example. When I let x be 1 in my equation, I can then solve the equation for what y must equal. I now have 2 minus 5y equals 10. Subtracting 2 on both sides, we get negative 5y equals 8. Dividing both sides by negative 5, we get y equals negative 8 fifths. So when the x value is 1, the y value is negative 8 fifths. The point 1 comma negative 8 fifths is a solution to this two variable equation. This point is a point on the graph of this line. For another point, I'm going to go ahead and pick y equals 3. Now I plug y equals 3 into my equation. I get 2x minus 15 equals 10. I add 15 to both sides to get 2x equals 25. Dividing both sides by 2, we get x equals 12.5. So when x is 12.5, the y value will be 3. That is a point on the graph. That is a solution to the equation. For a third point, I'll go ahead and pick x equals negative 3. I let x be negative 3 in my equation, and I solve the equation for y. I have negative 6 minus 5y is 10. I add 6 to both sides, so negative 5y equals 16. Divide both sides by negative 5, and we get y equals negative 16 fifths. Now we could go ahead and write that as, a pro as, as negative 3.2. So another point on the line, x is negative 3, y is negative 3.2. Now I have the x-intercept, the y-intercept, and three other points on this graph. I'm going to go down and I'm going to plot these points. We have an x-intercept of 5, 0.
these five points that we found. The x-intercept is 5, 0, the y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 2, and these three other points that we found. To plot the point 5, 0, I need to go over 5, up 0, which lands right on the x-axis. To plot the point 0, negative 2, I go over 0, down 2. There's our y-intercept. The next point is 1, comma, negative 8 fifths. Now notice, negative 8 fifths is just the decimal negative 1.6. So we're saying go over 1, go down 1.6 to about there. 12.53. I'm going to just add 9, 10, 11, and it would be off my screen. 12 up to 3. It would be over here-ish. And negative 3 is back 3 down 3.2 would be about here. Now I notice these points that I've sketched here are in an, a line. Now it is just a sketch, my tick marks aren't perfect, but you can clearly see that they do follow this linear pattern and I'm filling in all the other points that would occur on this line. So these are the points we found on the line, but there are an infinite number of points that are actually on the line. I draw arrows on both sides of the line to indicate that the solutions extend indefinitely that way and indefinitely this way on that same linear pattern. And so this is the graph of the equation 2x minus 5y equals 10.